Good morning, everyone. I watched a film last night, Friday no, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I was never real big on the Freddy Krueger franchise, the Elm Street, uh, that group of movies. But this is the one that they just made in 2010, I guess, the remake or whatever. So it's kind of difficult for me to make any comparisons or anything. But I, I kind of knew the, you know, the, the big story that the uh, townspeople uh, thought he was a child molester and uh, burned him in the burned him up in a building and uh, then he comes back to kill the children of the people who burned him up in the building. Well, if if they if he had not done it, I guess you know it was kind of a sweet revenge sort of thing, but he was. He was. <laughs> and I don't know if they proved it in other movies or not, but uh, he was a real bad guy. And, and uh, well, I guess everyone deserves a day in court, but this guy didn't. Uh, anyone who hurts a child should be, uh, uh, at best, spend a couple of bucks on a bullet in his head on the way to the police station. If you know he did, he's a bad guy. I heard a kid. But it didn't scare me, you know. Uh, I don't know, maybe because I'm old now. Uh, you know, I used to get, ooh, you know, jump and get a little, you know, and things got, came out of walls and stuff. But now I just, okay. Hope this has some sort of finality to it, or, and it did, but it didn't. That's the problem. They always want to get you, you know, leave you thinking, well, yeah, we're going to make another one of these. And I'm pretty sure the old guy looked more, the other guy looked a hell of a lot more like a, you know, the guy you see on Halloween where all the kids are walking around. But anyway, uh, I guess if you enjoyed those movies, uh, it's worth watching. Because if, if, if I, unless I ruined it for you, and they, you didn't know he was a bad guy, uh, I'll thank you all for your participation. I hope you all have a lovely Sunday. I'll catch you back on the tube.